Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is North Carolina Living. We're enjoying a beautiful, beautiful start to this day here in the rural gardens. And we've got an exciting video for you today. We're gonna do some spring plant shopping. Yeah, so every year in uh, Hendersonville, there's a place called Bullington Gardens and they have a big spring sale. Last year, I was able to hit the last day um, which was still very nice, but I could tell that it was picked over. So when I knew that it was gonna start this year, I decided we are taking PTO and we are going to be the first, one of the first ones on the first day to be there. So the biggest, um, I think, excitement for me is that this is the real start for my vegetable garden. So Bullington Garden has probably some of the most premium plants that I've ever seen. Um, and they're not very expensive and it just gives you an amazing start to your garden. Absolutely. Um, and the early bird gets the worm. So we're out <laughs> early to try to get over to Bullington and uh, get in line and get ready to buy some plants. They got all kinds of stuff there too, not just uh, garden vegetable plants. They have a lot of uh, flowering shrubs yeah. and different trees. Jeez. And uh, so we're excited to get over there. It's a beautiful garden too. I don't know, I haven't been there this year. I have toured that place before with the Mr. Maple Show and uh, it's got a beautiful landscape garden there. They also have a fairy garden that they do, yeah. I believe in the spring and summer. That's so, I've never been through that either, but I've heard very good things about that. But that's not it. This is going to be a, a nursery tour, basically. Um, we are going to multiple nurseries, potentially over the next three days. Yeah. Um, we have been preparing for this and this has been something that I think we both have been very, very excited for and it just allows us and here come those sirens as always. But anyway, we are on our way to Bullington. So let's go and see what we can find. is awesome. Everything is looking nice. Lots of azaleas blooming. The Japanese maples here are like beautiful mature specimens. Uh, is that, this some kind of paper bark tree? It is, yeah. That bark's okay. really cool. Sorry, what were you gonna say? I'm gonna say this lace leaf uh, is just... Yeah. I love that truck system in it. have just left Bullington and uh, we scored some really nice plants and now we are on our way to drop them off so we have more room in the vehicle for the next nursery. I think we're gonna grab us a quick bite to eat. Um, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. We've not had breakfast yet so we're gonna go do that. We might show you one of our favorite places to have uh, breakfast or brunch when you're in Hendersonville. Uh, and then we are heading to, I believe, Linda's Plant Farm. So come along and we'll see uh, 
what kind of amazing plants we can find. I love this nursery, it's so cool. Uh, I've been coming out here frequently. Uh, I work for the city of Hendersonville and we buy a lot of plants from Linda's uh, plants and shrubs out here. It's a great nursery, really nice people, and they got some beautiful, beautiful plants. I can't wait to get up here and show you guys uh, some of these amazing plants they have. What you looking up over here? <laughs> um, so I just they I spotted some peonies up here up front, and this one is called Francis or Tagot Red. So I was just trying to see if I could look it up, um, and it's probably going to have to come in our garden. <laughs> So, so the peonies that I got a few weeks ago were um, like a pink, a white, and a coral. So I don't have a red, so I was looking up this one and it is a bright, bright red. So I do believe we will be picking out the best one and it will be coming home with us. Awesome, let's go check out some more plants. I'm so excited I wet my plants. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back here where the coleus are and tell everybody what you did today. So, I don't normally like annuals because I want to purchase something that's going to just return every year. So I don't have to put a ton of money into it each year. But one annual that I absolutely love and have to have every single year are coleus. And I'm potentially saying that wrong. Um, but there are so many different variations of color, leaf structure, and they just create some of the most beautiful baskets to have on your porch. They are shade lovers. Um, so which ones did you get? One of each. <laughs> How do you pick just one of all of these beautiful colors? You gotta get one of each, right? At least one of each. I think this year too, um, since we have the two front beds that are fully shaded, I'm considering going ahead and planting them in the ground. These things are vigorous growers. They get massive and then they also shoot off these beautiful flowers that range from colors from like pink to purple and maybe white. But anyway, I am so excited to get this season's uh, coleus plant session started. So, anyway.
So babe, when we're out doing our gardening or um, nursery hopping, and we have a certain plant in mind that we want to get, how do you go about picking which one you go with? Well, so a lot of times I look at structure and certain structures speak to me in a way that uh, I just visualize them in my garden space. And uh, recently I made a post in the Mr. Maple Friends group about you guys recommending some plants for our garden because we were gonna go out and do some shopping. One of them in that list, they said, how about something different like a smoke bush? And I found a couple right here that is really nice. This is a golden yellow smoke bush. Uh, has some beautiful, beautiful blooms um, and uh, some great uh, fall colors on it as well. Uh, I've always wanted a smoke bush. They have them in several different colors, but I always thought that the, the bright golden yellow gave the most like striking presence out in the garden. So I think I'm gonna pick one of these up today, but I've got one here that's kind of got a three uh, stem trunk. And I've also got one here that's a more of a multi trunk. We've got one, two, three, four, five main stems to the trunk. A little bit fuller look. Uh, which would probably create more of a wider structure in the garden, whereas this one would be a little more narrow. So I'm just trying to decide in my mind which one I want. So, so given our space mm -hmm. and that we are always trying to maximize and get the most out of what we have. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I, going with the more narrow. One. Yeah, yes. that's what I'm thinking too. This one right here, I think, has a nice, very upright, narrow shape not going to be too big of a footprint and I can kind of keep that pruned to shape as well and uh, really nice pop of color I love bright colors they contrast so well with everything else in the garden and I think this is going to be one I'm excited about adding Is this our cart full of plants as we're leaving Linda's? It is. We, have, we don't just have plants. We have a couple of uh, pots, this cool little turtle and frog pot, and then I got a birdhouse. And a birdhouse. Oh, and I bought two pairs of earrings. Two pairs of earrings. Got to have some plant <laughs> earrings. All right, let's get out of here and get these home. We're on to another nursery here. This is Raymond's Nursery. Uh, another one of our favorite nurseries here uh, close to Hendersonville, North Carolina. Uh, we came here a lot over the last yeah. couple of years. It's since probably we... one of the first ones that we really discovered out here. Yeah, it's, it's a really nice place. They've got great plants, good prices, and uh, really nice people too. They're always- Oh yeah, uh, the so... ladies here, like I think are well known by oh, man, they... the entire community. They are <laughs> a wealth of knowledge, super friendly, super helpful. Um, just a really great place to come and check out. Yeah, we're excited to show you guys what we can find in here. Hopefully we'll find some treasures to bring back home for the garden. Come along. got here that's a cool looking conifer something something blondie <laughs> i see a ab's blondie that so is pretty soft. i right. love when i can run my hands through it and it doesn't yeah kind of reminds me of like uh the skylands in a way where it has that kind of golden but i've never heard of that one i might have to look that up see if it's something that would fit in our garden tall by four feet wide. Okay, so it is a, I would consider that a dwarf. Yeah, 
does out in yeah. the door. That's awesome. A little Norway spruce. Very nice. Beautiful golden color on that. I love their conifer selection here. It's nice. Umbrella pine. <laughs> Tinoki cypress. Anacypris. Yeah, those are cool. They're 20% off. 20% off. It's a unique color of salvia. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen them. It's really pretty. Like a, Oh, they got some cool coleus. Might need to add this one. I like the leaf shape on it. Yeah, you see this one, kiwi fern? Ooh. It's pretty cool. We're gonna try to do the coleus in the big like half whiskey barrel thing, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, Got to be able to plant quite a few different varieties in there to give a nice mix of color. Yeah, I picked out eight at the last nursery, so it'll be nice to have something with a different texture and a different leaf yeah. shape design. I like it. Pink fizz. I have one that's similar to the colors, but the leaf structure is different. And I feel so bad because Marty Graw wrote it in pretty. Man, guys, we have had so much fun today. We have visited three of our favorite nurseries here in Western North Carolina. First, we stopped at Bullington Gardens this morning for their famous plant spring sale. Second, we went to Linda's Plants and Shrubs. You can't go wrong there. She grows some phenomenal plants. And then third, we went to Raymond's Nursery. Raymond's Nursery has a group of ladies that run that place and they are extremely knowledgeable and super kind and friendly. Um, and I definitely recommend stopping by there. It has been a long day. It is now after five o'clock p.m. So we have had a full eight hour day of nursery hopping and it has been so much fun. Um, in the next video or upcoming video, we will do a complete haul of everything we got. But until then, have a great day.